I'm here. And today, yes, today is the day that your patience of a solid month of waiting has finally paid off because this is Did Somebody Say Yoga Part? Three. And today, to get us started off here, let's go over something very, very critical into the game. Some details that we must, must not overlook. There are so many clues, guys. So many clues when we that are given to us when we start. Did somebody say yoga mission? And there are four parts to the trailer that we get when we play this. Now, we get the initial prologue of where Michael's sitting in the couch watching a movie and Amanda approaches him and goes off and blah, blah, blah. That's when Fabian jumps in and gets us started out and get they get us through the tutorial on how to actually perform yoga. Now, after that, we get to the point where we take Jimmy to the burger shack. Jimmy drugs him. He hallucinates, then he goes through this whole little period where he gets abducted, he gets dragged into the alley by the monkeys. He gets abducted by the aliens, then he's free falling. Then he's going through all these subconscious thoughts by through all these other people while he's dropping. And the song by Shine A Light by the C90s is playing during the entire time. There are so many important details to that we that we must not overlook. Then after you complete that, then we get to the part where we now return back to Michael's house. They're all gone. And then he takes us to the trailer where Michael is reading the letter from Amanda, basically telling him that they left and why they left to, you know, a certain sand, you know, a certain degree. Now, I want to give somebody a shout out, a big shout out. One of my long test subscribers, his name is Greg. Greg story, Greg story. I want to give you a shout out because you brought up something very interesting. You, uh, you, you, when I actually initially released the Somebody Say Yoga Part Three trailer, you brought up a good comment. You said this part was always confusing, uh, is is strange to this game, and th that is so true. When he's free falling, you know that that was so weird to me when I first played it. I didn't think nothing of it, but then we learned about the Mount Chiliad mystery, and the rest is history. Now I'm going to be showing you guys something that's very critical, something very important to be looking at. When we initially, when we initially did this free fall, we were not realizing the clues that Rockstar were, were giving us when we did this. I want you to understand something here when michael's free falling the music playing you know shining a light by the c90s with all those very key lyrics in them and then you go through all the audio bites that are going through the entire time subconscious thoughts of dr freelander amanda jimmy and so on and so forth those bites are put into the right place so when somebody's saying something they're saying something in a very important part of that song with that particular lyric and what i'm getting at here is when we complete when we're doing this free fall what we didn't realize and what i'm now about to show you is that rockstar was actually telling us through that song what we're about to see what we're going to see and why we are seeing what we are seeing and what i have done here is i have mixed all of the bites all the parts to the did somebody say yoga cinema and i put them all in the right spot something to show you something to make it i'll have it all make sense now this is going to help you especially greg story and to understand why michael goes through this and that is going to shed so much light onto you guys this is going to shine a light onto this mystery a little bit more and i want you guys to pay attention to the what you're seeing i want you to pay attention to every scene every word every transition from what you're about to see because it is going to blow your mind and i'm going to explain here right after this did someone say yoga you finally lost your mind <laughs> Do you 
one like home. I always thought I was the good guy. I got a bit of an awkward situation. You ruined my life. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Turn along with that. Yoga is the answer, Mikkel. It's like ah, two different people. You're out there doing God only knows what. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. You're not a well man. for sharing. I always thought I was the good guy. Now you can't keep this alive You need to find someone to get You're not a well man. I want to shine a light. You are either drunk Now here is good. We have the sun. All the things you do. Staring miserably at the clouds. Recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. What do you want, Michael? I always thought I was the good guy. Mom was right about you. I never want to see anything from you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an I asshole. I want to not you know. Promise me you change, and you haven't changed a bit. You Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. What do you want, Michael? Now guys, now that you've seen that, I hope all of you have paid attention to this cinema. Word after word, transition from transition. I took all of it, as you've seen, different mixes to balance it out, to show you why Rockstar was putting those lyrics into that song. Why, why in particular they chose that song and why they were telling us certain things in the cinema and tie it into what they did with the free fall and that free fall right there tells us it tells us you must perform yoga with michael you must find that center spiritual being that that centeredness that mental check and this is where yoga starts to become really interesting because it now ties us to dr freelander in the game dr freelander is somebody that you hoped you and press with your marks with all your decisions with michael with franklin with trevor because he gives you the almighty dun, 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 the dr freelander report and that is something that will tell you whether or not you played this game right there is one section per category as you guys have seen in the dr freelander uh subreddit there are clearly different sections different choices that you can get per category that ultimately come together and make your dr freelander report it's all about making sure that we get the right 
one. And how we get that is through a, a number of steps. Not everybody, or not anybody, or anybody, period, has figured out what one is the right one, let alone how to achieve the right one. But, you know, we do have an idea on what the right one will look at based on the choices per category. There is one option that stands out per section of category of the Dr. Freelander sections, when you look at the the, per, the dialogue that you'll get, that sounds positive to a Dr. Freelander style compliment. That's why when you do your therapy sessions, there is gonna be times where you go to Dr. Freelander's office and then you get the phone calls. When you're doing the Dr. Freelander therapy sessions, it is important to agree with Dr. Freelander on his advice that he's sharing with you. Because when you do that, you're going to be getting the right dialogue with Michael. And I'm about to show it to you right now and to why is it important to agree with him because it's gonna show you some things in there that I hope all of you catch on to. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. They would call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turned things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you? Turn things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <sighs> Boy. Where do I start? I went back into the business. That business? I gotta be honest with you, Doc. I mean, why am I paying you all this money if not to be honest, for once? It felt good. That government guy I told you about, he got wind of it. It's fine. Expected. <laughs> Problem is, he's not the only one. He fucking found me, Doc. My old pal, Trevor. He's alive and he ain't going nowhere. This is bad, Doc. You gotta help me. Hmm. Honesty's an obstacle for you, Michael. Have you considered that transparency might be less painful than obfuscation? Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. I just don't like myself very much, Doc. And that's the truth. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Ah, not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. 
You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? Now, as you have just seen, there were quite a few interesting parts of that Dr. Freelander session titled as Evil. A lot of you may have noticed this is the point where Michael starts to realize the choices that he is making are wrong. He knows it's wrong. He knows this is the point where he is downhill, but he knows that there are choices he has to make down the road to better himself that, 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 that are going to separate himself from the old lifestyle of crime to the life of purity, which is so badly seeking after to find who he is and yoga is such a big part of it because it brings that center balance that a lot of us need i know this is getting to be a bit of a lengthy video so i'm going to show you guys one more thing before we get end this video for right now i'm going to be going to did somebody say yoga part four next week guaranteed i'm not waiting on nobody it's going to be happening next week because i want to give you guys a full week to watch this video take it in digest and then i'm going to be showing you in the, the part four how you know the course you're taking is the right course there are several steps with that with michael and to know what is the things to look for that you're doing your actions right with each character and that is going to bring us to the one last thing in this video this video is going to be a bit lengthy like i said so i'm going to be showing you something brand new very very brand new find that is something so interesting that my good friend danny coldblood aka had found and he has discovered and that is something that is a huge game changer into your karma and your actions with Michael. Now this discovery is something that Danny Coldblood, aka my music video, had found that is something that has been in our faces for a very long time and a lot of us didn't really know why. And if you're wondering where I'm looking, well you've seen it already, I've already showed it to you. There it is, brand new discovery. Yep, game over, blah blah blah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding guys. Yeah, he, yeah, look at your, that's a good iron, Michael. He should be a hand model. Or oh, is that Wispy Woods? Oh, I'm just kidding. But anyway, just kidding, Wispy. Much love, much love. Anyway, there is something that are, has been in our faces in this kitchen this entire time that Music Video has stumbled across and found through trial and error and just looking at everything in the, in the kitchen why we have what we have. And a lot of things that are very interesting in this kitchen. Now, we have whiskey in our kitchen things that we can drink all right now there's whiskey there's a health pack there's burger there's a burger shop and upon other research is that we had this one thing in our kitchen that we did not really know what the hell was in our kitchen for and this is green juice now green juice is something that is very vital very important something that a lot of us need for that god forbid we do something wrong with michael and i'm going to be explaining why now green juice will blow your mind and this this is the big discovery green juice is a way of redeeming michael with his actions now a lot of you are probably going what what hey, wait what now i want to be showing so, showing you this all right now i'm going to be having michael drink the green juice listen to how he drinks it Now that noise you heard Michael make while drinking that drink is a way of redeeming him. And that noise was that burning sensation 
going down his throat. It was like that little, like, oh my god, I just drank some straight whiskey noise. Now, there is differences in the noises that he makes while drinking the green juice. and But that that is one indicator that you were doing something wrong with Michael. And that is one way of indicating that you have just read the course. What is most interesting about this fact is that when you drink the green juice, the glass stays empty. Now, why does it stay empty? Well, let me give you a big clue into why. It's because, like I said, this is that is a way of redeeming Michael. But when you take Michael away from the house, like so, we're not going to go very far. But let's just go down the street a little bit. We obviously hit somebody there. Someone died. Alright, we made some bad choices, obviously. We're gonna go back to the kitchen. And there we have it, the magic green juice. And we're going to go ahead and take a drink. That burning noise again. And bam. Think of green juice as a way of correcting your health with karma. Basically, the green juice is health to our karma as what health packs are to us. Now that's going to do it for this video because even through the magic experience and the awesome grueling four to five hours of editing this video, probably more by the time I'm totally done with this, this video is going to be a bit lengthy and I don't like to make you watch a very super long Mount Chiliet mystery video because not everybody has the convenience of watching 45 minutes to an hour in a video and a lot of you have been waiting for this video for a while now more or less a month and I don't that's not my style but I was waiting for somebody to release their video now this person did not release their video but at the same time they gave me permission because it has been a lengthy time which I give totally respect to this person I will not name by name because he knows who he is and that's all that matters but anyway I give mad respect to him because he gave me permission to release my video anyway because he was not going to basically be able to release his video right away and he just let me do it so that's awesome, and I totally appreciate that. Big thank you to you. You know who you are. Anyway, guys, I hope this was definitely rewarding and worth the wait. There was so much that we gone over with, and I want to keep going, which is why, and, and the main reason we're gonna keep, I, I want to keep going is because we're still not done covering everything that I want to share on yoga with Michael, and then we have to go to the part two where I told you in part one on how yoga connects to everything in the game. It is looking like that somebody say yoga is going to be a bit lengthy of a series because there's still so much to share with you. Now, you would think that after this game has been out for about three years now that we would have yoga totally figured out and there was there would be everything that there would be said to have to be said about yoga would be said by now but yet there is not there is still things that i have learned that a lot of people have not put out into yoga in their videos that i want to get out to all of you and the only way we're going to be giving you all guys this amount of information at the right amount of time is by doing it in a series something for you to look at and to some something that that you guys are not going to be overloaded and crammed with information and a video so next week we are going to really i am going to release did somebody say yoga part four and that is a guarantee because i'm not waiting on anybody but me to release this video and the reason i'm going to be waiting until next week to release that video with did somebody say yoga part four because i want to give you guys the full week to enjoy this video and time to catch up on this video before we just jump into a whole nother one and then people are behind so as in respect to people who are catching up on this video and have the time to watch this video for whatever time it is and whatever blah 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 all that jazz you guys get the gist of what i'm saying so that's basically why and i love you all and i want to give a huge shout out and a big thank you to pet monster and monster chick for shouting me out in their video look and that will be in the, link, the link for that will be in the description below 
I love them both very much. Mad respect to both of them for their candor and their kindness towards me, and especially Vale's review. Vale, you're a great lady, wonderful woman there, and I hope all of you go check her out. And I'll also leave a link in the description below as well if you both are watching. Hope you both are, because I got I love you both. I love all of you so much, and especially all of you. I love every one of you guys and thank you so much for your time into watching this video so if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please subscribe to my channel because i do the facts in the game i present my theory you guys put together in the comment section below and we take the good from the bad and that is how we solve the mount juliet mystery and if you hear from the wackiness the shenanigans and the, the excitement and the joy that it is and the experience that is adam lee on this channel stay tuned because we have a shenanigans video coming out tomorrow so i love you all until next time